Hello, my name is Erin Crosby, and this is a video blog for University of Phoenix's Nursing 415 class, theory-based nursing practice. Um, today's date is May 23rd, 2016. This video blog will present my personal and professional beliefs in relation to Watson's caring theory. Jean Watson is a modern-day nursing theorist who believes that holistic health care is the center of caring in nursing. I am going to read an excerpt from the website Watson Caring Science Institute. It is Caring Science Defined. Caring science encompasses a humanitarian, human science orientation to human caring processes, phenomena, and experiences. Caring science includes arts and humanities as well as science. A caring science perspective is grounded in a re relational ontology of being in relation and a world view of unity and connectedness of all. Transpersonal caring acknowledges unity of life and connections that move in concentric circles of caring from individual to others to community to world to planet Earth and to the universe. Caring science investigations embrace inquiries that are reflective, subjective, and interpretive, as well as objective, empirical, and caring science inquiry includes ontological, philosophical, ethical, historical inquiry, and studies. In addition, caring science includes multiple epistemological approaches to inquiry, including clinical and empirical, but is open to moving into new areas of inquiry that explore other ways of knowing, for example, aesthetic, poetic, narrative, personal, intuitive, kinesthetic, kins evolving consciousness, intentionally metaphysical, spiritual, as well as, as, well as moral, ethical knowing. Caring science is an evolving new field that is grounded in the discipline of nursing and evolving nursing science, but more recently includes other fields and disciplines in the academy, for example, women feminist studies, education, ecology, peace studies, philosophy, ethics, arts and humanities, mind-body-spirit medicine. As such, caring science is rapidly becoming an interdisciplinary or transdisciplinary field of study. It has relevance to all the health, education, and human service fields and professions. Wow, that is a lot of words and information to soak in and comprehend. In short, I view Watson's caring theory as basically you have to care for a patient as a whole and not just one thing at hand. She says later on in this website, I emphasize that it is possible to read, study, learn about, even teach and research the caring theory. However, to truly get it, one has to personally experience it. Thus, the model is both an invitation and an opportunity to interact with the ideas, experiment with, and grow within the philosophy, and living it out in one's personal or professional life. That means something to me. I feel that day to day, I truly live out Watson's caring theory in both my personal and professional lives. The caring philosophy has four major concepts, human being, health, environment, and nursing. The website Nursing Theory um, with subheading Jean Watson Nursing Theory says that Watson refers to the human being as a valued person in and of him or herself to be cared for, respected, nurtured, understood, and assisted. In general, a philosophical view of a person as a fully functional integrated self, human is viewed as greater than and different from the sum of his or her parts. It goes on to define health, saying that it's, 
uh, high level of overall physical, mental, and social functioning, a general adaptive maintenance level of daily functioning, and absence of illness, or the presence of efforts leading to the absence of illness. Watson defines the environment such society that it addresses the ideas that have existed in every society and that a caring attitude is transmitted from generation to generation by the culture of the nursing profession as a unique way of coping with its environment. She defines nursing as a human science of persons and human health illness experiences that are mediated by professional, personal, scientific, aesthetic, and ethical human tendencies. The model also makes seven assumptions. These are directly taken from that same website referenced earlier, Nursing Theory. Number one, caring can be effectively demonstrated and practiced only interpersonally. Number two, caring consists of carative factors that result in the satisfaction of certain human needs. Number three, Effective caring promotes health and individual or family growth. Number four, caring responses accept the patient as he or she is now, as well as what he or she may become. Number five, a caring environment is one that offers the development of potential while allowing the patient to choose the best action for him or herself at a given point in time. Number six, a science of caring is complementary to the science of curing. Number seven, the practice of caring is central to nursing. So now we have the basic concepts of Watson's caring theory down. It's time to discuss my personal and professional beliefs. On a personal level, I believe that caring comes from within. I believe that one just by second nature is able to care for another. And I also believe that nursing is a profession in which one is called to. I don't believe that it's something that just anybody can do well. I believe that to be a good nurse and to provide the best possible care for a patient, one has to live the job and not just work it. I believe that caring is a trait of human nature. I believe that people need to be cared for as well as provide care to others. There are so many forms of caring and nursing is just one way to show it. Earlier, I read a quote about, uh, or from Watson stating that in order to get this theory, one must truly live it. I feel that in my professional career, I have lived it. And I feel that nursing or caring is the basis of nursing. Um, I have worked in many different subspecialties in nursing. I've worked, you know, med surge to critical care and step down. Um, the majority of my work has been in the emergency department and most recently in labor and delivery. I feel that this theory has been implemented across all of those subspecialties. I feel that uh, Watson's holistic approach to care is so beneficial for patients and in, in the many different units I've worked in, I've seen often where doctors forget that. They forget to embody the holistic approach. They only look into what their, their specialty is for. Orthopedic doctors only think about ortho. Uh, neurologists only think about the neurological system. You know, cardiologists only think about the cardiology system. You know, very rarely will you find a doctor who really takes that holistic approach where it is so important for the patient's well-being. An experience I had comes from the emergency department. Working one night during the winter, a homeless man comes in who's intoxicated from alcohol. 
The typical approach to these types of patients is to put them into a hall bed and let them sleep it off. Well, this particular night, I wasn't that busy and I had some times on my time on my hands, so I went and I spoke with the patient and he was telling me how cold it was outside and he had been wet and cold and hadn't had dry clothes in days. So I proceeded to have him undress and I provided him with some clean dry clothing and upon his disrobing and taking off his feet I noticed that he had severe frostbite which had turned to gangrene on his toes. Um, ultimately the patient got a work up, lab work done, x-rays and so on and, and it was gangrene and he ended up in the operating room and later the ICU I believe. He was very sick. I may have saved this man's life because I cared because I stopped in and you know to check on him and and to look at him as a whole you know many people would have just let him sleep it off and sent him off in the morning other situations you know that are typical in the ERs you know people come in with a complaint chest pain you know whatever and you later find that they've been home for however long without any food and they haven't eaten in, in a couple of days and they've only drinking water and you know as a nurse I take the approach of of getting that sort of information and you know helping to provide much needed resources if all we cared about was the chest pain complaint and looked you know went down the avenue of working up the chest pain and found nothing to be wrong many times things could be missed learning more about Watson's theory of caring reminds me of why I wanted to be a nurse in the first place I truly care for people and want to help them I plan on continuing to implement this theory throughout my practice and my personal life